Good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Monday, July 11th, the 15th week of Ordinary Time, and the feast day of St. Benedict. And it's also my younger sister's birthday, so happy birthday to Katie. Um, shares the feast day of St. Benedict. Um, and St. Benedict is the founder of the Benedictine Order. Um, he's also an exorcist, um, in which um, his medal, the Benedictine medal and symbol, is a medal against demons, to fight out demons. Um, he was also a mystic, uh, an abbot, and he's known as the father of Western monasticism. Because the monastic life is very structured, very ordered, because he knows that we are creatures of habit. And that if we don't have structure and order and routine in our lives, it's very easy for us to go into chaos and fall into sin. Um, so his order followed the golden rule of Ora et labora, which means pray and work. Um, so the monks each day devoted eight hours to prayer, eight hours to sleep, and eight hours to manual work. Um, sacred reading and then works of charity. So that is St. Benedict. Um, he's also the, he's the patron saint of Europe in addition to the patron saint of many other things that I can't list. Um, so that is St. Benedict. Today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 10, verses 34 through chapter 11, verse 1. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace, but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against, his, against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's enemies will be those of his household. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple. Amen. I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his twelve disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach in their towns. So we have the titles here of the scripture is Jesus, a cause of division, as well as the conditions of discipleship, and then also rewards. So Jesus doesn't mean right here to like intentionally seek out being divided against your family, those who brought life to you, your mother, your father, your daughter-in-law, your mother-in-law, all this other stuff. Because he wants, we're also called to love everybody. But he's inviting us that our love and relationship should be so deep and intense towards him because Jesus understands our human nature and how easy it is for other people to fall that our faith, foundation, and trust in God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit should be so deeply rooted that even if like, we should be able to discern when those who are closest to us are falling away from the path of truth. And we cannot give in to that. So are we aware of those that we surround ourselves with that we cannot give in to that? even though they're so close to us and they brought us life and they're quote unquote, the ones who love us the most because they can't love us anymore and never will than what God the father would. The love that a parent has for a child is like pennies compared to what the God of what God's love is for us. And that's making, and that's what Jesus is trying to teach us here. He's not saying disregard everybody else, but he is saying, Humans are weak, and they are fallen creatures, as we are, you and I are. That, but God's love is our rock, 
and will never fade away. So we must follow him no matter what it takes, no matter what relationships it might burn and the bridges we might need to burn to stay true to him in, in our life. You know, because it says, whoever receives you receives me. So we got to make sure that we are doing what we need to do to receive God because with as crystal clear of a faith as what we can possibly have. So how are we doing with, with, with that today and every day? Is our faith in Jesus Christ, in our Christian faith, is it truly the rock in which we stand each and every day? Have a good day. God bless. Keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.